Hey everybody, in today's installment of the Mark Means Meltdown episodes, we're going to be talking about his latest filings and his latest accusations. Now remember, Mark Means is the attorney who is representing Lori Daybell, and remember that Lori Daybell is one of the most unliked mothers and persons of the year. So Robert Wood, uh, Prosecutor Rob Wood, uh, he is the one who is assigned to this case. Now if Mark Means gets his way, he will no longer be assigned to this case. So let's talk about the grounds for this motion. So at the center of this, Mark is claiming that he has come into possession of a couple of audio recordings. Now, one of them he is saying centers around Rob Wood and Summer Shiflet. Now, remember, Summer Shiflet is Lori's biological sister. Allegedly, this recording took place sometime around like October of 2020, so not that long ago. Now, in Mark Means' motion, he says about the recording, and I quote, The recording clearly illustrates Mr. Wood's attempt to coerce unduly influence, coach, and or intimidate said material witness to this case. Now, Mark brings up another recording. This one is between Zulima. Okay, remember, Zulima was Alex Cox's wife, and Alex Cox was Lori's brother. Now, about this recording, Mark says, the auto recording is between Mr. Wood and Zulima discussing matters that support the state's position on the case. Now, Means has a whole bunch of stuff to say about this in relation to Rob Wood. Right off the top, he has and you know what? This violates Lori's right to a fair and impartial trial. Now, he also says that Rob Wood violated the Idaho Rules of Professional Conduct as well as the ABA rules. He also says that Wood's misconduct under the witness tampering and witness intimidation statutes could be considered criminal acts. Another point of interest with this is that Mark Mead says, you know what? Rob Wood's misconduct makes him a material and necessary witness in this case. And he plans on subpoenaing him. So this should be very interesting. He also says that these actions have caused the potential for civil situations, and he also says that the misconduct has included concealing evidence, which is a violation of Brady and the Rule 16 of Idaho Rules of Criminal Procedure. I mean, my God. You would have thought he cracked the Zodiac case and all signs pointed to Rob Wood. Now, like I said, he wants Woods off this case. We already knew this, okay? We've seen this behavior coming up. This is nothing to be alarmed at. So, he wants Woods to testify as a witness, and he wants a hearing where he can play these audio recordings, submit them as evidence. And in this hearing, he wants it to be in person. He wants it to be unsealed, recorded, and transcripts created. Now, here Here's the thing, y'all. This is 2020, damn near the end of it. And so nothing surprises me at this point. When I saw this come up and I was like, are you kidding me? Honestly, I didn't really blink an eye at it that much. However, you know, let's hear these audio recordings, Mark. I'm very curious to see what is on them. As we all know, if you've been following this, y'all, Mark Means has been throwing stuff out there that you're just like, what is this guy doing? Take Twitter away from him. I think we all remember his tweets about, you know, Melanie Gibb and David Warwick with a little gif of the rats running around and accusing them of being more involved in things. Uh, his tirade against the Woodcocks in the documentary they were working on. So, I mean, this is just kind of par for the course. What's interesting about this is that he is filing these motions. He wants to, you know, take it to court. This isn't just a Twitter meltdown. So, this is where I'm like, hmm, okay, you know, you got my interest. You know, let's hear the audio recordings. Y'all, it needs to be blatant. If this is stuff where it's like you have to stretch all the way from here to, you know, California to get to his point, which is kind of what I'm expecting, I'm just going to be like, move along. There's nothing to see here. There's nothing to see here. Now, speaking of things to see, though, do not forget, because I am on pins and needles for this, December 20th, Investigation Discovery. They're going to be examining the case of the whole Lori Ballow case, this whole case. It's called Doomsday, The Missing Children, and it's like a three-hour episode. So I'm going to be doing some, you know, review videos on it and that kind of thing. We'll probably talk about it in a live chat uh, because I'm really interested to see this take on it and like if we see anything new or whatever. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all the channel members, the Patreons, the channel mods for making this channel happen. Thank you to the Sofa Squad. If you want to see more of my videos like this and commentary, just click the videos that are popping up right now and you can see more. I thank you again and I'll see you soon.